looking at our mousetrap car assignment and I'm gonna start with some measurements here and hopefully have these written down um, on some papers for you but our base top here I'm gonna start with this here my width is gonna be 2.5 my length is gonna be 10 and my thickness is gonna be an eighth of an inch so I'm gonna start with my thickness or my parameters and I want to make a parameter and I'm actually gonna make sure I'm on inches too so right now my units is millimeters I'm gonna change that to inches and then click OK uh, modify I'm gonna go to parameters and I make a parameter here and this here can be thickness um, or it could be ply um, I'm gonna type thickness just to keep things the same there and the expression here is going to be one eighth of an inch or 0.125 and this is the thickness of, of balsa that we're using and then click OK um, now uh, I'm gonna create a rectangle I'm actually gonna create a component Okay, I'm going to keep this the same here. This is the base slash top. So you can see here, base slash top for me. And then I click standard. That's fine. Um, don't need to do it from bodies. And then there will be a parent. Click OK. And you can see here, it's lined up. Now I'm going to go to create, create a sketch. Okay, I'm going to create a sketch on the top view. I'm going to create a center rectangle. So create rectangle and create a center point rectangle here and I'm just going to drag this out right now. Then I can go back here and look at my dimensions. My width is going to be 2.5 and my length is going to be 10. Okay, so D and diameter, diameter, okay, this here is going to be 2.5, or not, not the diameter, dimension, and then this here is going to be 10. Okay, we're going to stretch this out quite a bit here. 10. Then next here, so um, I'm going to go to a whole I'll actually stay on this view here and I'm going to go to create and I'm going to go to rectangle two point rectangle um, I can get rid of some of these dimensions and constraints just to clean things up a bit this is a sketch line going across here we can leave that and I want to do a rectangle again here and I'm just going to do it up here in the upper upper left area like so um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create this one here. So I'm going to zoom in on this that rectangle right there. So you guys can see what I'm doing. And I zoomed in on it a bit. And on that corner, I'm going to dimension this out, D for dimension. And drag it out here. This here is going to become thickness. You can click on that parameter and click enter. Then this here, D for diameter this here uh, I'm just gonna make this make it one inch make it super easy for us here like so and then this one here this is gonna be 0.5 dimension that out excellent and you can see these dimensions when they pop up here you can see all the different dimensions you can turn it on and you can turn it off then I'm gonna mirror this so create and then mirror and like so I'm gonna select this area here I have eight areas selected then I'm going to go home up top here and I want to select my plane so I click the home button on my UCS icon I'm going to turn my origin on in the upper left here and then I'm going to select this plane right here and what you can do if you select the wrong plane so oh, select the plane and if I select the wrong plane I can always go back and select a different plane as you can see so I can go back through and just toggle through these planes. You could also click that for nothing selected. But I'll select this plane right here. And you can see it pops up over here. And then click OK. We're not going to finish the sketch yet. I'm going to go back to my top view now. Uh, and I'm going to uh, take this here, like so. Uh, I'm going to go to Create and back to Mirror. Actually, I'm going to do both of these here. So I'm going to do Mirror. I'm going to select this object here and this object right here so just that rectangle and that rectangle uh, and then I'm going to go to my mirror line again go back home and then this right here is my line and I'm going to mirror that to the other side just like so click OK um, then I'm going to go back to my top view here on this view I want to um, do one here in the center so how I'm going to do that in the center and there's there's multiple ways to do this here um, I'm going to click on the center here. I know that box is one inch. So I'm going to draw a, another box over here on that side. And 
I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this better here. So I just drew a big box, rectangle, on the center point going to the left. I'm going to dimension this out now, so D for dimension. And we're going to do make sure this is 0.5. Um, this one here is going to be uh, our thickness, like so. And then um, you can mirror this potentially across if you wanted to the other side, or you can just draw another rectangle. So I'm just going to draw another rectangle and watch this here, like so. And I can look at my parameters. We go here, D for diameter. Okay, again, this is going to be 0.5. And then this one here is going to be, oh, it's already driven, so that's good. It's already constrained, so it's already the exact thickness that I want right there. And then I'm going to escape, I'm going to delete this line in the center. Now, that is one piece here, and I can delete this dimension, this dimension if I want to just to clean things up and we can see our other dimensions now and show those and I can put a dimension across here now that this is one inch okay, and that constrains that so it stays the same uh, and we're almost ready to finish this sketch here I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna actually create mirror this because I'm gonna mirror this across right here and then I'm gonna select my mirror line and go home and my mirror line is gonna be We'll zoom in out so we can see it. It should be this right here. Click OK. And it mirrors across. Click OK. Um, and I think we're almost done here. So let me check my other design here to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, we're going to do one here in the back too. One little connection point right there in the back. So on the back side here before we do that. So I'm going to create. I'm going to go to my top view here. I'm going to rotate this around a bit. I love using my UCS up here in the upper upper right. And I'm going to create a rectangle. Um, and this one, again, I'm going to do from the center point here. So we're just going to do this over. Um, I'm going to do this again, 0.5. Keep it going the same. And then same idea here. I'm going to create another rectangle on this side. And bring it down. I'm going to go 0.5. Uh, I'm going to delete that one in the center so I can zoom in on that. And I'm going to delete this line in the center. Might have to do two deletions on it. Um, and then I'm going to dimension things out here. So I'm going to dimension this, that, boom. And this is going to be found the thickness. That's my parameter. Oop. I should dimension the other side first here. So D for dimension, boom, boom. Okay, let's make that one inch. And then I can, I can now go in here and type thickness. That should work out. Sweet. All right, so now I am ready to extrude this. Um, so I'm going to go home view here, and then I'm going to press E for extrude. And then this is going to become um, profiles all good here. Um, you could do one side or two sided if you wanted to. Um, it's going to create a new body. Um, that's fine. And this is going to be thickness. And right here, that goes up. Enter. Sweet. So this is going to be the top of my mousetrap car. A couple other things I need to do before I move too much farther is I want to create some holes. I want to make this a little bit lighter. This area here is going to be for my back axle to wrap my string around my wheel. So um, that will be in my next video.